final prayer we'll do together is a rewriting of the Magnificat, putting a focus on waiting in the fullness of time. So we're going to speak the words that uh, are attributed to uh, Miriam of Nazareth. So we have uh, six wonderful lectors up here who will read the paragraph, and then we'll all together say, the soul feels its worth. Okay? So that's from uh, a line or a phrase in Holy Night. Okay? Soul feels its worth. And uh, we'll conclude the closing prayer, and I'll give you a final blessing. My soul reflects quietly on your fullness, and my spirit grows stronger in the hope of your promise, God my Redeemer, because you have filled me with the knowing that you are alive within me. The soul feels its worth. Yes. Day by day, through the course of time, my awareness of the call to bless fulfillment increases, for you have done great things in me. The soul feels its worth. Holy is this time, and patient is your gift to all who nurture the seeds of your love. The soul feels its worth. You have changed my life. I was so confident in my unknowing. You have deflected my fervent thrust toward ironclad's goals and spread before me your vision of fragile simplicity. The soul feels its worth. My longing to be a healing and reconciling person to your people is affirmed within the daily coming and going of my life. My illusions of my own holiness are mercifully revealed. The soul feels its worth. You are here now in the seemingless emptiness of waiting, remembering your intent, according to the promise made in the beginning of time, remembering your intent to reach through the work of my life, that your fullness may be known now in our time. The soul feels its worth. That they all may be one, Father, as you are in me and I in you, that they all may be one in us. For it is to be pray, Father, that the hope and the prayer of your Son may be fulfilled in us this day, as we live together, work together, take risks together, suffer together, and rejoice together. Come, Lord Jesus. Send your spirit into our darkness to make us one in you and in all. Amen. 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 The Lord be with you. I'm with you. Please bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May there be harmony in all your relationships. May sharp words, envious thoughts, and hostile feelings be dissolved. May you give and receive love generously. May this love echo in your heart like the joy of church bells on a clear December day. May each person who comes into your life be greeted as another Christ. May the honor given the babe of Bethlehem be that which you extend to every guest who enters your presence. May the hope of this sacred season settle in your soul. May it be a foundation of courage for you when times of distress occupy your inner land. May the wonder and awe that fills the eyes of children be awakened within you. May it lead you to renew awareness and appreciation of whatever you too easily take for granted. May the bonds of love for one another be strengthened as you gather with your family and friends around the table of festivity and nourishment. May you daily open the gift of your life and be grateful for the hidden treasures it contains. May the coming year be one of good health for you. May you have energy and vitality. May you care well for your body, mind, and spirit. May you keep your eye on the star within you and trust this luminescent presence to guide and direct you each day. And finally, may you go off into the Bethlehem of your heart and visit the one who offered you peace and love. May you bring this peace and love into our hurting world. Amen. 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 Let us go in peace. Share that with others. Amen.